safety in a car versus safety on a motorcycle in a car you have seat belts on a bike you can hold on the grips in a car you have airbags on a bike you can hold on the grips in a car the body protects you on a bike you can hold on the grip daydream i fell asleep amid the flowers for a couple of hours dude is that a cyber oh. truck yeah dude that's sick dude that's like the first one i've seen out here it's pretty sick that's nice yeah. I hate electric cars. If you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle for road trips, stop right now. Let me tell you in 60 seconds why I sold my Rivian R1S after a 4,000 miles journey and why you should completely stop considering EVs for road trips. The distance electric car travels right now is not there yet. When the vehicle is carrying a family of five luggage with air conditioning use and phone charging, a 300 mile range quickly decreases to a maximum of 200 miles. This allows for only two and a half hours of driving. Resting every two and a half hour driving sounds great idea. What's bad is that you need to charge your car at these stops. While fooling regular vehicle takes 5-10 minutes, the charging of electric vehicle is a whole different story, and that's a big problem. Fast chargers are rare outside big cities, and often these chargers deliver only half of their promised power. You would need at least 40 minutes for a single charge session, and in rural areas it might take 2-3 to three hours. Additionally, at few locations I've seen cars lined up for charging spots. If each car takes 30-60 to 60 minutes to charge, think about how long you could be waiting, especially if you are in rush. You have no freedom to choose where to go and where to stay. You are tied to chargers. Do not repeat my mistake. Get yourself a gas vehicle for road trips. Tesla is recalling nearly 200,000 vehicles in the US because the backup camera may not function while the car is in reverse. On the plus side, once you put it in drive, you can see who you ran over. I need you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Hey, nice car. What do you do for a living? Okay. <laughs> Hey, nice car. What do you do for a living? Uh, no one's replying, bro. What about what about what about you, sir? Sir, sir, nice car. What do you do for a living? Show me something super luxurious. This super luxurious car, Rose Race. This red color for free, too much good for the driving. This Nissan Skyline GTR 33. The best car in the full world. There is only one seat. When you make it the drifting, it is better to sit alone. I love this car, but how to drift in this? A baby. Full speed and then handbrake. <laughs> Like a lake.
you don't want your car to get stolen, I got a solution for you guys. Check this out. Get a manual transmission. Check this out. Spotted in China by AutoNet Mags. This kind of looks like a Honda Civic. At least the front end is similar. But wait till you get to the back. This is not a Honda Civic. It's a Honda Integra 240. Yep, rear end's a little different. Bumper's a little different. I was told the interior is the same. But how cool is that? A Honda Integra from China. And now you're in the know. Yo, this car is sick. Thank you, bro. I bet you like it because you drive a piece of shit. Bro, why are you being disrespectful? No, I don't. So what do you drive? I got a Porsche. A Porsche? What, like a mommy's Macan? Is that what you're driving? Bro, let me just tell you. I got a twin turbo flat six. Twin turbo flat six? Look over there. That's mine, bro. Mm -hmm. Be scared, bro. Don't disrespect me again. When I got the chance to see the Cybertruck in person for the first time, I only have one question in my mind. Is this the world's second largest fingerprint collector, other than the Starship? This is how we do it. either the touch screen or for games that support it with a controller. But here, I just want to show off the power of the, uh, the, the next generation system. You can see the graphics and uh, they did some customization for us and now we have a, a Mustang in the, in the game as well. Um, but here you can see, again, a park experience, something to, to bring entertainment into the vehicle. You drive a BMW.
no, wait, I didn't mean for that to happen. To find out that everyone hates me? I don't care. Regina, please! Regina, stop! Oh! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me.